This is episode 16 of the Arts Academy podcast with Victor Barnato and Roxy Hayes. How to get started on Twitch with special guest Rob Rico. You are here and we mm. want to talk to you about uh, getting started on Twitch. Like how long have you right. been using Twitch? Uh, I've been using Twitch on and off for about a year and a half now. Mm-hmm. I started on actually started on YouTube gaming. Okay. And then I moved over to Twitch. Right. And then because of some of the things that were happening on Twitch, which if you follow Twitch, you know they've had their little controversies and stuff. Oh, I yeah, all like, the time. <laughs> yeah, all the time. So I said, let me go ahead and give Mixer a try. And I was mm-hmm. on Mixer for the majority of 2019, which I actually built up a really good following there. But um, I had a lot of my viewers asking, you know, you want to try coming back to Twitch? Some things have been fixed. You know, I said, all right, I'll give it a try. So I've come back over to Twitch now, and I'm kind of rebuilding there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and so you've come back over to Twitch, and so you, so your Mixer follower, a lot of them came with you. Yeah, I, I would say so. I, on Mixer, I have seven hundred and seventy followers that mm-hmm. I, I gained all of them just last year, and with me just coming back to Twitch over the past three months, I'm at around three. I'm at I'm about three hundred and seventy followers on Twitch right now, which is fast to get in three months. <laughs> so yeah, it's been going pretty well. Do you have a way that you do you have a way that you solicit new followers or is it just is it just uh, that people find you organically through Twitch? Some of it is uh just finding me organic organically through Twitch, but I think the biggest um the biggest tool you can use as a Twitch streamer is knowing how to promote yourself off stream. Like mm-hmm. you're gonna get about anywhere between five to 10 followers a stream, just streaming. If you're, you know, mm-hmm. once you get it up and going, not just off the break from the break, you're going to have a lot of streams where it's going to seem dead in there. And don't be worried about that. That's just how it starts off. You keep, you stay consistent. That's going to grow. But the way to keep growing after you get over that initial hump is promoting yourself off a of stream. And that's not going to people and badgering them. Hey, follow me. Hey, come check out my, my Twitch and stuff like that. No, create content. Um, Twitch has a great feature called clips. You can take different one minute, uh, sections out of your streams, Mm -hmm. things that happen that are funny things that happen. Like you get a a win in a game, like you're playing call of duty or apex legends. You got a crazy win, clip that, and then post it to your social media, post it to your Twitter, post it to your Instagram, post it to your Facebook, um, help these things circulate. Um, Reddit, Reddit is great for that stuff. And I'm not even the biggest fan of Reddit, but Reddit is great for that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, the biggest thing is just making content and definitely YouTube. Uh, if you can edit some of your Twitch streams and put together highlights and things of that nature, YouTube is great for that. You can end up getting somewhere to a hundred new followers on Twitch off of a YouTube video you made from your clips if you do it right. So, you know, it's it's definitely possible to do. Oh, three yeah, I was near three fifty. There we go, three fifty. So that's my uh, Twitch. They actually just updated the profiles on Twitch recently, so that's how it looks right now. Uh, it used to look a lot more basic before that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. So when you're talking, uh, the about, biggest thing is yeah. When you're talking about mm-hmm. Twitch, I heard that like uh, in order to be popular on Twitch, uh, you should definitely have like you be a certain type of type of streamer like some streamers are funny some streamers are great at games some people Mm -hmm. some streamers like play a particular type of game like where do you fall in that uh i'm a variety streamer i I take pride in being a variety streamer because a lot of people do kind of fall into that little niche of you know only doing one thing but Um, i kind of sorry i don't interrupt but i want to apologize because i'm eating while you're talking because i'm so hungry i haven't eaten this morning and so i have food here i I I apologize you, you, you want me to keep it super real with you yeah. As soon as this podcast is done, mm-hmm. bag of Popeyes is is getting to what? As soon as this is over, look at the, the sandwich that's waiting over. for me on the on oh. <laughs> chicken sandwich all up in here. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you feel me? So as soon as this is over, that's getting handled. Yeah. But um, nah, I'm a variety streamer. Um, I do take pride in it. Uh, just because again, a lot of people do get caught up in that niche, and just for me sitting back and watching over the last couple of years, because. It's one thing to stream. It's another thing to really watch the community around streaming. Um, one thing, I, I don't want to feel bad when I say this. Okay. But, Go you know, it. some streamers get caught up in a trap. And like Ninja. Ninja got caught up in the trap when he was on Twitch where he couldn't play anything but Twitch or he would lose subscribers. I mean, he can't play anything but Fortnite or he would lose yeah. subscribers. If he played uh. anything else... They wanted to unfollow. They wanted to unsubscribe, go back to playing Fortnite. And that's what made him so unhappy. He would like 
the last two months of him streaming on Twitch was just like some of his unhappiest streams. You could see it. Yeah. It's like I told I told myself on the break, I never want to put myself into that trap. So I always try to mix it up. Some days we're going to have a stream where I'm playing Call of Duty. Sometimes we're going to have a stream where I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. Sometimes we're going to have a stream where we just sit back and watch YouTube videos and laugh and react to them. Like, you got to have that diversity there so that you can never, like, get caught up into that trap. I never want my popularity being based on what I'm playing. I want it to be more about the experience of coming in and chilling with me. Yeah. And then whatever happens within that, we enjoy it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. We ain't going to force you to be here. But if you like, if you like being here, hit that follow button. Host it up. Subscribe. Do what you feel is best. We relax in here. So that's my that's my. Is that your life. is that your Twitch voice that you just use? That yeah. sounded yeah. cooler yeah. than your regular you know voice. Wild, <laughs> that's my rapper <laughs> voice. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he used to rap. So yeah, he yeah. That's my, I used to be a rapper. Oh my god, rapper. me too. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh, oh I had no too. idea. I I I released a I released a single with my brother uh, when I was just out of high school. Uh, it was on Capitol Records, uh, an offshoot of Capitol Records called Genial Wave. And wow. uh, yeah, I, I released a single. But wow, then I quit. Yeah. Then I quit. I, I just quit a few years ago, but I was I was rapping, rapping. Like I was in double XL, MTV, Complex. I was performing at South by Southwest, A3C. Oh uh, wow, yeah. DJ <laughs> DJ Premier found my music and everything. Like it was going well. I was I was actually up in New York a lot over the past five or six years uh just because i was i was dating a female rapper up there i was doing shows with people like science and damo briggs and all of mm -hmm. them so like i used to be up there heavy um and yeah i i loved music but it just came to a time where i had to let it go because other responsibilities came up my father had a stroke paralyzed the right side of his body and mm -hmm. it was like you got to make a decision to make. You want to keep yeah. working on music or do you want to go and make sure your family's okay? I totally, I, see it. I, I completely understand that. And also sorry to hear about your father. Oh, but yeah, I'm glad nah, you're here with us. Doing better. Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm here. I'm here with Roxy Hayes and Victor Renato <laughs> and a bag of Popeyes right next to me. I'm, I have nothing to complain about. And I'm sure <laughs> you were telling me that like streaming has made it to where you can still make some type of income and be have a creative outlet without having to leave your family. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. That's, that's the thing the for most people. Yeah, so that, you, that's really how I got into it. So, what would you suggest? What would you suggest someone who's like, you know, they're they're at home, they're just uh, dusting the Doritos off their stomach right now. They're like, I should get into Twitch. <laughs> what do you right. suggest? Uh, I suggest first off knowing what you want to do on Twitch. You know, um, a lot of people do just kind of pick up and do it. And then they'll stream two or three times and they'll have zero to two viewers and they'll be like, I don't want to do it anymore because nobody's watching me. And it's like, <laughs> that's that's how it starts. It starts off with nobody knowing who you are. Um, so and, or they'll make this mistake of going in there and trying to play the most popular game, not realizing that it's the most popular game, which means there's about 200,000 more people. Streaming that same game, and they're more established than you, so people are going to want to watch that mm. over just this new kid. Um, so you have to figure out what you want to do on Twitch and then what you can do to stand out. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, try to go the shock route or the dark comedy route or anything of that nature. Just make sure you make yourself stand out. When you get on there, be yourself. Um, I always say, and I learned this from, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Kenny Burns. Um, I learned this from Kenny Burns when I was making music. He said, "You mean the not... documentary filmmaker?" No, no, he's um. All right, so you remember Rockefeller Records? Yeah, yeah, barely, barely. Yeah, Jay Z's record label. Yeah. No, but I. Vice... So, it's just I don't know a lot about hip hop. Yeah, no, I understand. Because <laughs> I know I heard it, but I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know the details. I've heard it. Yeah, yeah. All right, if you got that much knowledge on it, then that's cool. So. Um, <laughs> Kenny Burns was the vice president of that record label. He's also from where I'm from, from D.C. Um, and he always said that you cannot push a brand or sell a brand until you become the brand yourself. And it's one of the best pieces of advice I ever got. And because of that, I always say that you're, the best way to brand yourself is just being yourself. Because mm -hmm. then nobody has a way to go ahead and say, oh, that's inconsistent. He's not being him. That's not, that's not real. If you're being you, it's going to work. 
I need to show you something. Uh, so speaking of being a brand yourself, I mm. basically I had to figure out like what I was trying to do because when especially when I when I stepped away from working on other people's like productions, I mm. wanted to wanted to I had to figure out like what I want to do. So I wrote mm. so I found like one of those talks or whatever TED talks where they talk about like this is, here's how to establish a brand. And so uh, what I figured out was I wanted. They they basically said you want to make a list of words that you want people to come away with when they think of you. Wait, mm -hmm. hold on. Okay, and so she might have it so down. basically, yeah. I wrote down a list of words that I wanted mm -hmm. people to think about me. I'm going to show you the list now because I've been i this has been on my wall for like over a year. I'm going to show you the list now, and we'll see we'll see if it's working. Hold on. Mm. And That's actually how I came up with my name. I don't know what to say this. I love this podcast. I learn so much. Like, <laughs> oh, so dope. Ah, so dope. Okay. That's what podcasting's all about. No, it's not. It's not, it is not all podcasts. <laughs> I mean, my other podcast, Six and Seemly Questions, you learn nothing on that podcast. It's a good time, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So here's my, here's my six things. Okay. I want people to think, whoops, I want people to think that I am creative. I want people mm -hmm. to think that I am brilliant, not just smart. I want people to think that I'm brilliant. I want people to think that I'm funny, uh, genuine, innovative, and kind. So those are my six words. It's, it's as far as brand goes. Yeah, I could. I, I, having worked with you for these past couple months, I could say that's that's on brand for you. I think I just yeah, I just gassed you up in a post on a in a group. And I was like, "Yo, Victor, the genius." Those were my exact words. <laughs> genius, and you are like, "Yeah, Victor has the ideas." But that that is actually probably <laughs> speaking of brands. That's actually some of the best advice that I've ever had. Like when when a, when I follow that advice, of just sitting down and like writing down, like what, like think about what you want people to think of you, and then mm -hmm. then when you do that weigh that against every decision that you make like am i am i fulfilling this like or am i acting in this way because i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to forget to be kind to people and that's why i wrote that down because i thought it was just as important as being creative or, or brilliant or whatever it's being mm -hmm. kind to people is important to me too and so like and that's what i want people to take away and in these things i don't have to like i don't ha ever have to say them i just mm -hmm. do them and, and exactly. they, it just reminds me, like, this is part of every project I work on. Exactly. I mean, you did write that down. I mean, that's about plan. <laughs> hey, man. In the past 43 minutes of us talking, you're mm -hmm. doing well on the list. So. <laughs> 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 well, this has been... I mean, this has been great. Uh, I, I, would, I would think that anybody who's out there, you should follow Rob on Twitch and check him out and see if he does use that voice or not. He oh, it happens often. Because I'm going to find out. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to my gotta, Twitch. Take uh, your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got a homegirl um, named Mushkin Doom. Uh, uh -huh. She's a partner on Mixer. And uh -huh. actually, I've known her as long as I've known Roxy because of a website we all used to be on back ah, in the day. No, yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to mention the website. I'm not going to mention the website. But I've known her just as long because of that. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> No, was, listen, I'll if you can that. find that. <laughs> it was called Crush Spot. Yeah, so it was basically there was it was like one of those forum websites. Mm -hmm. It was just you go on there and just talk mm -hmm. to people and have pages. And it was yep. so ignorant though. Like everybody on there was like super ignorant and gross. And it was like, <laughs> like, like every day, because we were all like what like early twenties. So everybody's like, Yeah, I was people I was 18. Oh, I was 18 when I joined that joint. Like, Oh, freshman seven, year college it was why it was wild but i have yeah. a couple of friends that i still know from there but it's one of yeah. those like we don't speak about that site yeah <laughs> we don't. it's like it's a secret society, yeah, like, don't, don't, society. that's don't, really funny don't, 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 i met my daughter's mother on that site oh my that's god crazy we're not gonna get we're not, we're not gonna <laughs> my cat went back to the printer he loves the printer yeah so. <laughs> that's his spot still, that's his yeah, yeah. You gotta put a pillow there now. <laughs> um, I, do, I do have a Twitch question because, like I said, mm -hmm. I'm just starting mm -hmm. Twitch and I don't sure. know anything about it. Okay, so can you explain to me the difference between affiliate and partner, and can you please explain what bits are and what gotcha. subscription? And I know you can get Twitch Prime if you have Amazon Prime. 
So I know that's like mm-hmm. five questions in one. But yeah. like, can yes. you explain those things? Because I don't I know what, what that means. <laughs> so a Twitch affiliate is basically a streamer that's affiliated with Twitch. Um, it's also a level towards your progression of becoming a partner. Um, in order to become an affiliate, um, they have certain requirements. Uh, you have to average, I think it's three viewers. I can actually pull it up right now. I have I have yeah. Twitch over here. Let me open it up. I can give y'all the the specific I know what instructions because it's been a long days. time since I reached affiliate. I've been so an affiliate for a while now. You have to mm-hmm. have three people watching in one stream. Mm-hmm. Um, you have, to have 50 followers. There you go. And then you have to have, I forgot the fourth one. Uh, it's a, I think it's like uh, more than 12 hours streamed or something yeah, like that. Nature. And it's, it's within like a 30 day period, right? Like, yeah. But the moment that you reach those qualifications, Twitch will send you a message and an email letting you know that you're qualified to be an affiliate. And then you'll just do onboarding, which is then basically, you know, getting your personal information um, just so you can get paid. You know what I'm saying? It's like filling out uh, your, your, your forms where you get a new job. You know what I'm saying? So um, you go ahead, you fill that out, and then you can start receiving subscribers to your channel. Subscribers are supporters that pay to basically get things like emotes in your channel. If you see people use different emotes like the Kappa emote on Twitch and things of that nature, you can make up your own emotes. You can either design them yourself or... Right, it's like emoji basically for Twitch. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And you can um you can create them yourself, um, which I'm sure you can do, Roxy, since you're good in Photoshop. Or you can go ahead and commission somebody to go ahead and make them. And then uh you would upload them to your channel and then your followers and subscribers can use them, mainly your subscribers. Mm-hmm. And um also it keeps them from having to see ads while they watch your stream because you know Twitch loves ads. Oh yeah. Um <laughs> And um, yeah, just different th- different type of perks they get from doing that. So that that, get, that opens up the ability to get monetization on Twitch, though becoming an affiliate. Um, now, as your channel grows and it becomes bigger, then they have more requirements to becoming a Twitch partner. If you become a Twitch partner, that's it. You are officially one of the faces of Twitch. You make your money uh, every month. It's pretty much going to be guaranteed. You're making you know, money every month because in order to even reach being a partner, there's like a set standard of how many viewers and subscribers and things you have at that point. So, um, you know, you'll have opportunities that other streamers don't have on Twitch for, you know, visibility and showing up at events and things of that nature. Um, It's a long road to becoming a partner. I'll say that much. I'm friends with more than a few Twitch partners and it's a lot of work, but it's not impossible. And that goes for all of the platforms, really. Twitch, Mixer, Facebook gaming, YouTube gaming, all of it takes work. But um, you put in the work, you stay consistent, you stay out of trouble. Because some of y'all be getting in trouble, okay? I'll be seeing y'all on Twitter. I see y'all. Stop saying those things. You wouldn't say those things to your mother, okay? Not Stop online. It. <laughs> yeah. And, you, uh, you, you wouldn't say it offline to your mother. She's not your face off. From what, yeah. I'm, from what I'm told, though, like the easiest way to just, and I think you said it earlier, to build, to get to that is just promoting off of Twitch. Yeah. That's you so, can't you can't just fine. expect people to come to your streams and then just be found and blow up that way. You have to create content and other avenues to redirect them to your Twitch. And then you can use your Twitch to redirect to those other avenues. You know what I'm saying? You can uh, use your Twitch to promote your YouTube. You can use your YouTube to promote your Twitch. You can use your Twitter to promote your Twitch. You can use your Twitch to promote your Twitter. It all works in a nice little synergy. You know companies love it. Synergy. synergy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep the synergy going and use all of it to build up your profile. So, oh, yeah. That's I mean, one of my favorite words. Synergy? Yeah. Synergy. No, I'm kidding. It's not. <laughs> well, I, I love using it because I, I hate it. <laughs> Sometimes you guys, <laughs> I hate a word enough to use it a lot. It, it's you know what I'm saying? Effective word. Yeah, it's effective. It's effective. I still hate the word. Don't don't mind me. So when Come is your next? Mind. I hate that word too. When is your next stream? <laughs> uh, my next stream will likely be Saturday. Um, I'm taking a break from streaming for the rest of tonight and tomorrow because I will be building a brand new PC tomorrow. And all of my focus is going to be building that PC and moving everything from this laptop onto that PC. So it'll likely be Saturday afternoon, more than likely around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Got it. And yeah. If any, if not, you know, 
The next thing y'all can do is follow me on Twitter. Uh, mm -hmm. at Rob Regal GXC. The GXC stands for Gaming and Culture. And I can go ahead and, you know, keep y'all updated on when the next stream will be like that. Love it. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for stopping by. Uh, and Pleasure's and Roxy, Roxy, Woo! our deputy headmistress, and I, the dean of students, uh, salute you. Boop. I mean, <laughs> real quick before we go. I'm now streaming on Twitch. And so uh, I <laughs> please follow her. Follow yeah. Roxy Hayes. It was just how you were looking. So, oh, no. oh, there's got a question. We got a question. Okay, question. I've Wait, done a few streams and saved the clips. However, I've noticed that the clips are raced after a period of time. Is that due to me not being yes? Oh. So now after um you become an affiliate, those clips will usually stay after that seven days. If not, then yes, those clips do disappear. But when you make a clip, you can download it to your computer. Mm -hmm. So download your clips if you make them. And if you have the space for it, download your entire VOD because then you can use that VOD, edit it, put it on YouTube. Boom. Now you have highlights to share and make oh. yourself seem like the next big streamer. Yeah. Wow, and you ain't got to worry about this and pay. Like for me, I have a five terabyte external hard drive. Ooh. Every stream that I do, it's on there. I keep it because you never know how you may want to repurpose that that footage. Repurpose how how that long content. are your streaming sessions? Depends on my mood. It can be anywhere from two hours to seven hours. I always just base it on how Damn. I feel. Yeah, and I don't. Cool. The seven hour ones aren't crazy. Like I don't do that often. But you know, uh, if I'm enjoying the game enough, then I'll do it. Like Final Fantasy VII Remake had me playing for that long because it's just such a good game. And it's new. Yeah, they were saying the average is two to three, so I'm not shocked when you said I never heard seven, but yeah, like two to yeah. three, especially because you need that time to get to exactly. Three. And I would I wouldn't suggest anybody to do long streams like that, honestly. Um, <laughs> we do it because we were in a vibe, we we're in the zone for it, but I wouldn't suggest it. A lot of people will lie to you and say, Yeah, you need to stream for this many hours. It it doesn't matter. Like I said, you're only gonna get anywhere between five to 15 new followers to stream. You're just overworking yourself if you're not feeling like streaming for all that time. Okay, would you, think, would you recommend uh, starting out with older games to build your followers? Do you me. like older games? Boom. Is it on brand? <laughs> Does it, it Play what you like. That's the biggest thing. Play what you like. Don't play the games based on what you think the following is going to do for it. Play it on what you like because if you're playing a game and you don't like it, we're going to be able to tell. It's I would love sense. to play a bunch of puzzle games on Twitch. I love do puzzle it. games. I do love it. it. Do it. Do it. it. I'm, I, uh, and this is this is hilarious because I was just saying the other day, I'm going to play Tetris on stream at some point. I'm going to play Tetris. Be on NES Tetris. Uh, I have it on PS2. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. You should play each other. I mean, no, I, I could. I, rock. I, I got Tetris too. I got the second Tetris over on NES. We can play some two player Tetris. I'm not scared of you. Let me know. Get this work, <laughs> Get this work Roxy. <laughs> just, I, oh, yeah. Now I can plug my stream. Is there any more questions? I stream <laughs> Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. It's called Retro Days with Roxy Hayes. And I play all older games. Some of them are going to be trash. But yes, yeah, all older games. And then I do my podcast, Bedtime B Word, on Sunday, Wednesdays. <laughs> so, Censorship. Saturday. Yeah, check that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aside from using emulators, any tips on using older consoles? Yes. So what you need to do is get a um, HDMI converter. So what you can do is you'll get the HDMI converter. You can use your old uh, either those little cable. I can't remember the name of that cable, but the little cable that twists. You know, you remember the ones used back in the day. Little metal twist with the little thing in the middle. You can either connect that to it, or you can use your uh, your little AV cables and connect to it, and then it puts out oh, an HD signal about. to your TV, and then just use a capture card with it. So then right. your capture card will bring that signal to your computer. You can stream it out. That way, it won't look all fuzzy. Wait, okay, wait. I actually have one that I can show you right now. Yes, yeah, I was. I have one, and I can't find it at the moment, but it's in here. Oh, dang it! Boom. The okay. So you take that. This, this is so. This basically it has one side. It's where you put in the audio. These are the two audios, and this is like the video. Sorry, mm. here we go. These are the two, the two audio ports and the video port. And then mm. this side it has HDMI, HDMI comes out, and then of course it has the power. 
I actually was using it recently because I was playing my little Miss Pac-Man thing. Oh, uh, yeah. HD, uh, HD TV. He knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. knows. And I'm I'm not gonna lie, I I've been using emulators too. I don't care. It just is what it is. I do it. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I have a um. I actually have a modded SNES Classic, the little small tiny joint that they put out oh. like a year and a half ago. I modded it, and I have NES, SNES, N64, PS1, and Sega games on it. And I just oh, use that. Nice. So and yeah. you can just point the phone at the TV because that's what I do on my stream. <laughs> 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 that works too. I, I mean, I know that other way looks better. I just like to give people cheap options for when you're broke. So no, yeah, <laughs> that's just basic is basic way. Do we have any more questions? I was enjoying these questions. They were yeah, no, these are great questions for me. I think about oh yeah. So we need oh, that's right. We just answer this question. So, you know, we are going to wrap this up uh, because, you know, we got stuff to do. This isn't our whole life, everybody. Uh, so, uh, but thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Rob, for being our guest. Thank you, Roxy. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye bye. Check us out at Arts Academy. Ch check us out at artsacademypodcast.com or altartsacademy.com for our whole shebang. Make sure to visit us at artsacademypodcast.com.